Motivated listeners, you need a spark. Here it is, brought to you by Motivational Radio France and your host, Lonji Agoha. One of the reasons why I wrote How to Empower Yourself to Win is... It came from the fact that I have experiences I gathered about 15 years now teaching. And I discovered that sometimes it's very difficult for people to know what they really want in life. When I ask students what you wanted to do, to say, I don't know. So I started from there. And as I discovered that all of us here on this planet came to this world because of a particular reason. Must be a reason why each of us came here. The problem is, many of us do not know why. We don't know why we came to this planet. And so with the little research I have made, I discovered that people who do not know why they came to this planet find it difficult to survive. Because... Many of us, or many of those people, go through life doing something that was not made for them to do. For example, somebody who's supposed to be a teacher, if you go and become a plumber, you're not going to be happy in the job. Or you're singing while you're supposed to be painting, you're not going to be happy. And so I, I guess one of the reasons why people are not happy is because of the fact that they fail to understand exactly what they really came to this world to do. So, and I believe that if you want to do something, you need to know exactly what it is before you start. And I, that was why I started you know, thinking about it. And I said, okay, if you got the power, you need to have personal empowerment. So and that's the title, How to Empower Yourself to Win, to Win the Game of Life. Because I believe this life is a game. And if you know how to play it, you win. If you don't know how to play it, you will maybe not lose, but you will not be happy. And, not happy. and uh, that's it. So, and if you're not happy, I don't know what you, you know, sometimes it's not the best story. Uh, all of us are turning towards happiness. That's the aim of whatever we're doing. Why is it what makes you feel happy yeah, when you're right. driving those people? Even though people. you're sleep deprived. That's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's, he's sleeping at one o'clock, one a.m. You know, yeah. but he's happy. And so that's the essence. And if you're a teacher and you're happy, that's it. So anything that makes you happy, I think that is really what so many people find it difficult to get to that point where they get happiness because maybe they are doing the wrong things and they don't know how to get to the right things. So that, that was one of the things that made me write this book. I wanted to explain to people, those who care to read, that they can get to a certain level if they know what and what to do. They need to know why they came to this world. Their vision. You must, everybody has a, you must have a vision to know exactly where you're going to. If you don't know where you're going to, even if you get to a particular point, you wouldn't even know when you've arrived. So you need to know clearly, must be a clear vision where you're going to, and then you know, do all that is possible for you to do to get to that, that uh, the place you're going to. So that's the main reason why I wrote this book now, for people to know, take charge of themselves, their lives, because each of us is here for a particular reason. And because of my own story, when I started, when I was very young, I started by reading the dictionary, I started by studying the dictionary, I wanted to read all the words in the dictionary, I, wanted, I was studying, I was reading like a novel, and that was really what gave me the insight that, oh, that I would do something with words. <clears throat> but when I got to secondary school, my uncles told me, listen, I should forget anything about reading, blah, 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 I should go to the technical school, do something with my hands and all that. So that was what happened to me. And I went to a technical school first. When I got there, I was not happy even for one day. So I spent four years in a technical school studying something I didn't like, all right? Just because somebody said you should do that. I was not able to choose what I wanted. I did not, I wasn't able to tell him or them that I wanted to do this. At that time, it wasn't even very clear for me, all right? So I, that, it started from there. But when I finished, and then I knew that that was not my line, then I went back to school again to the secondary school to do something different. When I came out, I did some jobs and then went back to the university to continue and all that. Then finally, I found my way. So it took me years to do that, all right? So I felt that many people are in that, in that situation. First, when I finished, I was working. I wasn't very happy in the job I was doing. I was working at a WASI <clears throat> at the airport at that time. I wasn't happy. I was earning good money. Well, I was traveling every day, but I was not happy doing the job because that was not what I wanted to do, right? Until when I discovered what I wanted, my call. Then that was how everything changed. And I felt that many people are in that same direction today, not knowing exactly what they wanted in life. And if you don't, you'll find life very, very boring. And when you're working and you're not happy, it's not very good. <laughs> so, so that was why, uh, you know, personal empowerment came about for me. This podcast was brought to you by the Motivational Radio France with your host, Lonjago and Barris.